Hey everybody! Thanks for tuning in today. Hope you guys are doing well. I am filming another, I guess it's a mukbang, but it's really not because um, I'm not eating anything. I'm actually just having a iced coffee from Starbucks and I actually got a um, this is a grande iced caramel macchiato. Usually I get a tall, but I got a grande this time. And the iced caramel macchiato is my favorite iced coffee at Starbucks. Ooh, it's so good. They kind of made it a little strong, which I kind of like. Um, but I just love it. So I just picked one of these up. And I thought, you know what? I've got some time. I'm going to film another video because you guys really liked the last one. Sorry, I'm not eating any food. I actually ate lunch. It's about almost three o'clock, so I'll probably be eating dinner next time I eat. Um, and I don't know what we're getting for dinner, but um, I've already eaten lunch earlier, so I'm really not hungry. I'm not eating anything, so I'm just having my Starbucks drink. So I hope you guys don't mind that there's no food this time around, and I know you guys enjoyed the last one. And I do have other videos coming up. I'm going to have some reviews and stuff coming up for you guys. Um, more food videos. Uh, you guys been saying you want grocery haul. So I hear you loud and clear. I'm working on them all. I'm trying to get all that done. I'm actually thinking about the next time when I do groceries, um, placing a Kroger uh, order or a click list order, or maybe going to Aldi. Um, do you guys shop at Aldi? Do you like Aldi better than like your regular like grocery stores, like Kroger or whatever you have in your area? Um, there's an Aldi close by to me um, that I could go to. So I can definitely go to Aldi's or I can go um, to Kroger, wherever. Um, but I don't know where you guys usually like to shop at. I kind of shop at the regular grocery more, most of the time. But sometimes I do go to Aldi's and I love their little whatnot section where they have like totally not food related stuff. But um, yeah, so if you guys want to see that, next time I do my small grocery run, I will do it. But just let me know which one you preferred. Like, which grocery um, do you like to shop at? Because um, where I live, we have Kroger's and Myers, And we have one Trader Joe's, which is really far from me. It's not really far, but it's not anywhere close to where I am. Um, and then we have, like, little local, like, very small stores that aren't anywhere else. Um, and we do have Aldi, so... Anyway, I just got out of an interview. It went well. Um, I feel somewhat confident that they might call me back um, because um, they do seem like they possibly would. So I don't know, but I don't know for sure. Um, but my next interview is actually not for like 40 minutes. So I thought, you know, I'm going to just sit for just a few minutes, have my little um, coffee for a little while and talk to you guys. So I'm probably not going to stay here the whole time. Um, probably here in about 10 minutes, I'll actually probably start driving over there because it's already almost three and um, my other interviews at 3.30 and then I have one tomorrow and then I also have one Wednesday possibly. So good times. Mm. Once the milk and the coffee starts mixing together, it's so good. What do you guys like at Starbucks or do you like Starbucks? If you do, what do you usually get there? This is my jam. This is my favorite thing. It's so good. But anyway, I just needed something. It's been kind of a crappy week um, for me. It's actually been kind of like a crappy couple months to be honest with you and um I just needed a little Starbucks I need a little pick me up for me Starbucks is like a treat because I don't go to Starbucks every day it's not that cheap um but when I do get it I like to think of it as like a treat a treat to myself you know but anyway <sighs> I was going to tell you guys about something. Now I can't recall what it was. I don't know. I can't remember what it was now. I'm sure it'll come to me at some point. But My husband's been working his job that he um, 
got when we got back here. And he likes it okay. Um, they work pretty long hours, but he likes it. And he said the people that he works with are really nice. But um, he actually found out a bit of bad news um, about one of his family members the other day and uh, they're not in good health. So he was really not in a great mood today and ended up staying home, you know, just not feeling great. So anyway, um, it's just been a crappy, crappy couple months. And I don't know about you guys, but sometimes it just feels like you're just stuck in a rut. You know what I mean? That's like been me for like the last year and a half just stuck in a rut and um but you know I, I don't know like something has happened where I feel hopeful whereas I didn't feel that hopeful like not that long ago maybe because you know I had to put my dog down and it was just a very like sad time for me it still is I'm still really sad about it but Maybe just like getting over that initial like total grief um, from losing a pet. Um, now at least I can kind of be a little more clear headed and um, I feel a little bit more hopeful um, and I feel like somehow, some way, I don't know how, but somehow things are going to work out somehow and we're going to be fine and we're going to get our own place again and we're gonna be living where we want to live and at some point things can only get better right I mean it can't be terrible forever it just can't it has to get better so that's what I'm trying to tell myself that's all I can tell myself you know so I don't know about where you all live but here right now it is a like cicada invasion i'm talking about where i just left at the interview and they were everywhere there is like literally one crawling on my car they're like everywhere they're just flying bumping into things it's crazy they're just everywhere it's definitely the swarm i mean it's just nuts i mean there's like at least 10 of them on this little tree right here next to my car it's crazy just crazy I'm sure people are really having to deal with them. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. So anyway, when we go home, we'll have some dinner. I don't know what, but we'll have something. But anyway, I hope you all are doing well and, um, Hope you're having a good week so far. It's just started, but I hope it's going pretty well. And um, me, it's going okay, I guess. Um, you know, I don't know. I'm trying to make the best of it. <laughs> I definitely feel like sometimes we get, um, you know, comfortable, we're in a comfortable place. And then when you're at first, when you're out of that comfortable place, you're like, what the heck like this is so uncomfortable I'm so uncomfortable I'm so like not feeling this you know and then like once you've been in an uncomfortable situation for an extended period of time you start to get used to that un you know comfortable situation and all of a sudden it's not so uncomfortable anymore <laughs> you're kind of like hey I'm just free falling I'm okay that's kind of where I'm at. Um, I've been uncomfortable for so long that I guess somehow it's becoming more comfortable, which is sad, but true. I'm sure a lot of you all can relate. Um, so you know what I'm talking about, but. There's a bookstore right across from here and I would love to go in there and buy some books. I don't have the money to, even though I would love to go in there and buy some books, but I don't know. Oh, 
oh, I really don't want to go to another interview. I think I've been to about eight or nine interviews in the last two to three weeks. Yeah, I'm about done with interviews. Like I've had enough. <laughs> I have so had enough. <sighs> but you know, keep on chugging along. But anyway, I'm hopeful that something's going to turn up and I actually have possibly have an interview, um, hopefully this week. And if I do, it will be awesome because it's a position that I would actually really like. It's, um, for a nationally known company. So they have multiple locations, which would be great because if I did want to relocate, I could maybe relocate with a job, which would be nice. Um, and it's very interesting. Like it's a really interesting position working in a lab and it's just something that's like right up my alley. I could definitely see myself doing it. Um, and I think I'd be good at it. So I'm really, really hopeful. And I also really like the hours that they work and the location's pretty good. So like everything is good about it. If I could just get it, it would be awesome. It's temp to hire, but um, I mean, you know, I'm open to it. I'm not staying here in this location anyway where I am. So for me, it's kind of like just a job to hold me over. But if I did get hired on and they do have locations that are hiring in Florida, which supposedly they do, um, that would be really nice. And that would be super convenient as well. Um, and then that would be so awesome. Like if that would just happen, that would be great. But we'll see. We will see. Well, anyway, I don't want to cut this video short, but unfortunately I do need to start heading to the second interview and it's also starting to rain, which is great. Um, but I do need to get over there. It takes me about 15 minutes from here to there, it says. So I need to just go ahead and start heading that way. But I do want to thank you guys for tuning in today. And I really, really appreciate all you guys that keep coming back and commenting. It means a lot to me. Uh, and, you know, I try to be as regular as I can with filming. It's hard because I've got a crap ton of stuff going on, but I'm trying my hardest to put stuff out. And I do have many things lined up. So definitely like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you can be notified of all my future videos so that you don't miss out on any. And as always, feel free to comment and talk with me because I love talking with you guys. Um, I have my social media listed down below as well. I'm going to make sure today that it is current because I did have to change some things a while ago and I'm thinking that I updated them but I'm gonna make sure so if you don't follow me on any of the, my social media go ahead and do that because I'm always posting stuff on Instagram and you guys can keep up with me a little more on there but anyways we'll see you guys in the next video thanks for tuning in and have a good rest of your week bye guys